Okay, guys, so we are back. Um, my buzzer went off, and so I'm going to go to the oven with my hot pad in my hand. And I also bring uh, a little dowel, a little piece of wood, a toothpick, or even a really thin knife. And what that is, is that you watch the time that it says to cook. Like I said, I always do mine a little less because I don't like things getting overcooked or burned, they get harder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out very carefully and I'm gonna put this in the middle. And if this comes out with any goop, any batter, any cake stuff on it, it's not, the cake isn't done. The baked good isn't done. If I stick it in and it comes out clear, then I know it's cooked properly through. In that case, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over and put it on my stove top so it can't burn the counter. And then what we're gonna do after that, let me take it out. So I'm gonna open my oven and carefully take out my pan. I'm gonna turn my oven off. And then, like I said, I'm going to take a toothpick, a stick like this for, uh, I use these for um, oh, uh, shish kebabs, or a small knife, real thin knife. I'm gonna put it in the middle. And if you see, it came out, there's no batter on it. So it means that the inside is done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this down so you can kind of see how this looks. Here we go. Looking good, yes. So I'm gonna bend. I'm gonna put it on my stove top because those are grates and it won't burn my countertop or that type of thing. So I'm gonna let that cool for probably maybe um, maybe 15 minutes. Usually if you touch the top at the, you know, and you, you'll you know, you could kind of touch the top of the pan in 15 minutes and it might be warm, but it won't be hot. And then after that, you wanna let it cool enough. Otherwise when you cut, it's gonna be kind of sticky. And then what you're gonna do is either take your scooper or take a knife. I use a, this is a, this is not a sharp knife. It's just a regular uh, dinner knife. And I'm gonna cut lines down the middle, like down the middle like this. So I will cut lines down the middle like this, okay? And then I'll cut lines across like this. It depends how big you want your, your squares to be. If you want big squares, you'd only have two cuts, but that'd be a big piece of brownie. So I'm gonna go ahead, so you'll decide that. And then, you know, then you just need to sit down and enjoy your brownies. So we made sure our countertops were clean. We made sure we took all of our ingredients out before we started all of the things we needed, the mixers and measuring cups, the eggs, the, the uh, um, vegetable oil. And then we went ahead and we mixed it up and we prepared our pan. We put the batter in, the oven was already preheated. We started that before we even started mixing our, our, our batter. And then um, we went ahead and cooked it and we test it with our little stick, make sure there's no batter on, we bring the stick out. Carefully with our mitts, we bring the pan out, put it somewhere will, where it will not burn turn the oven off and let it sit for about 15 minutes. And then we'll use a, a non-sharp knife or an object to go ahead and cut down lines. And then you can scoop some of your brownies out. And I hope that you and your family enjoy it, okay? So I will see you next week for a live Zoom. And um, I think next week we're making a pie. So you guys can go with your parents and pick the type of pie filling you want. Uh, we're gonna go ahead again and make it relatively easy. We're going to buy, we're not gonna cut up fruit ourselves this time. We're gonna buy pre-canned uh, pie filling and then we're going to make a pie. So uh, I will see you next week and take care, bye-bye.